is reset. So we're just gonna do five days, uh, 15 minutes a day. Um, most of the workouts are gonna be full body, but they're gonna be focused on a specific um, part. So when we're gonna do legs, um, we're gonna do shoulders, healthy back, core, but we're gonna to start today with classic Pilates flow. Okay, so we're gonna be lying down on the mat, seated, hold on behind the thighs, roll down, and then just let's take just a minute to settle into the mat, let your collarbone be nice and open and relaxed. Your pelvis is in a nice neutral position, so we're gonna tip it forward towards you, tip it away, and then it rests somewhere in the middle. Our legs are coming straight out of our hip joints, feet are flat on the mat, arms are nice and long. So we're gonna inhale, take the arms to the ceiling, and then exhale overhead towards the ears, and circle round to the hips. And again, inhale, and then exhale. Make sure that you don't let the ribs flare out when you take the arms overhead. You wanna keep those ribs nice and connected to the abdominals. So two more this way, in and out. And last one, in and out. Let's go around the other way now. So inhale to the ears, and then exhale back down to the hips. So while we're breathing, we want to try and fill the ribs to the sides and to the back. So we're not just filling the front of the chest, we're doing three-dimensional breathing. Okay, so two more. And exhale. Light contraction of the abdominals when you exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. So leaving your hands on the mat now flat, we're just going to do a couple of imprint and release. So the imprint position is where we use the abdominals to tip the pelvis towards the rib cage and that is an imprint or a flatter back position. We often use that when we bring the legs up to tabletop just to give us a little bit more support. Okay and then you're just going to let it go back to neutral so it's like a little blueberry underneath your lower back and the mat. So just one more, inhale and exhale. Okay, sorry, one more. Because what I don't want you to do when you go into the imprint is just squeeze your bum so tight that you jam your back into the mat. Okay, we're using the abdominals to just lightly contract to tip that pelvis towards the ribs and then releasing it to neutral. Excellent, so now moving on to our hip rolls. So we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, tip that pelvis towards the ribs, and then keep it tipping forward, and then push through the heels using the glutes and hamstrings to come up. So you're in a long line from your shoulders to your knees, but the rib cage is staying down. So we don't want to pop the ribs out, keep them nice and connected to the abdominals. Inhale here, and then exhale, sink down from the rib cage, getting as much movement out of that spine as you can and release completely at the bottom. So let's do two more of those. Inhale, exhale, tip. Use each and every vertebra if you can. Pause at the top, and then lowering down from the ribs. Hip rows are just so good for your back. Just to get some, some movement, particularly in that lower back, you've been sitting all day, it tends to get compressed and squashed, so it's just really good to get the movement back into that. And lowering down. So we're now gonna take the left leg long on the mat. The right knee is coming to tabletop. Okay, well for our one leg circle. So there's one leg circle, we're gonna take the leg around the clock face. So we go around and down and up. So the essence of this exercise is to keep your pelvis as still as you can. So we want to feel like the abdominals are drawing down into the mat and that um, hip bone, the, the femur in the hip bone, is staying really nice and secure. So what we don't want is this, okay, because that's just wafting your leg around. What we're doing here is a really intense exercise for your abs, for your core, but from the deepest core. Let's just do two more this way. So the foot is in line with the knee. 
Okay, so we're not letting that leg draw out to the side. Okay, and then we're going to reverse it the other way. So take it around and down and up. Okay, if you have the flexibility and you wish to do so, and the strength in your abs, you can take the leg straight. Okay, as you can see, my hamstrings aren't feeling super loose today, so I'm going to keep my bent because I feel like I'm getting more control that way. Two more. This is one of the absolute best exercises you can do for your abs, not crunches. Okay, now hook that knee in, and let's just circle the ankle one way, and then reverse it the other. Taking that right leg along now, and then the left knee is going to come into tabletop or take it straight if you wish. And then we can take the leg around and down and up. So some of you may feel or hear a kind of popping sound. Um, that's quite normal. So you need to feel that your abs are pulling, drawing down further into the mat. If it still pops, then make the movement smaller. So I do have a pop on this side. That's due to the alignment of my spine. So I have to be a, have a small circle in a in this direction, when I reverse it, which we're going to do now, I can make it a bit bigger. Okay, so listen to your body and adjust to suit your own body. Keeping those abs nice and secure. Three more. Two. And last one. Hugging the knee in and circling the ankle round. I'm going to take the legs back, feet flatten out on the mat now. Hands are, head is going into the hands. Your elbows are in your peripheral vision. We're going to do an ab prep exercise. So pelvis is neutral, little gap between the low back and the mat. We inhale, our eye gaze goes to the kneecaps. Exhale, ribs are gliding down towards the pelvis. We're not tucking that pelvis under when we go there. We keep it nice and flat. And then lengthen away. So let's do 10 like that. Inhale. Exhale with control. And lowering down. It's just so common to see people squeezing their bum as tight as they can when they're doing ab um, crunches. And tipping the pelvis and then the work goes out of where you want it to be, which is in these the deepest abdominal muscles. Down, five more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. So we're now going to bring into the obliques. So we're going to take the shoulder to the opposite knee as you bring the knee in to meet it, and then tap down. So you should feel this in your left oblique if you're bringing the left leg in. So let's go for eight. Move across for eight. Keep that pelvis neutral, seven. And make sure that you're taking the shoulder towards the knee and not the elbow. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, hold up there, extend the arm to the outside of the knee and pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Bring it in and tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend and pulse. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lower down. Okay, 
I want you to now take your right knee to tabletop, your left knee to tabletop. Hold on behind the thighs and come up into this chest lift position. Okay, so it's important that your head is supported in between the shoulders. We don't want our head to be back here because you can see the strain on my neck. Okay, so keep lifted here. We're going to go into single leg stretch. I'll give you a modification if this is too much. So we're going to stretch and switch. So really lengthen that leg away for eight. Keep going if you're okay with this. If that's too much, take the head down. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. And then hug those knees in and just rock from side to side. Good job. Hold on to the fronts of the knees, throw it up, and we're going to go onto our tummy now. Okay. So we're going to lie flat on the mat. Our arms are coming to into a wider goal pose position, so that uh, it's coming at 90 degrees to the shoulder, and then straight out. Okay, when we're lying face down, as everybody who's subscribed to the channel knows, our glutes and hamstrings are pulling down, and the abs are lifting up slightly just to support that lower back head is hovering just off the mat and we're going to do breaststroke prep so we inhale and then exhale use those upper back extensors to lift up and then lowering down okay so it's more important that you use the back muscles and come up as high as they will allow than to try and come up really high and use the arms to to get the upward motion Keep that lower back supported with the glutes and the hamstrings. And your head is staying in a lovely alignment, always are gazing down at the mat. Let's do four more. And using these back extensor muscles are what are going to give us a lovely open posture and get us out of that forward flexion that we're in all the time. And last one like this. Good. Just head to one side and rock the pelvis. And now we're going to go into our full breaststroke exercise. So I'll show you once. We're going to lift up, hands come up. We shoot the arms forward and swim them round. Okay, so we're going to come up and we're going to swim round six times. So let's go. Inhale, exhale up, shoot forward, swim round, staying up for two. Really reach those arms along and really reach them back when you get to the hips. Four, five, and last one, six, and just hold here at the back for three, two, one, and then lowering down. Let's move our focus now to our glute muscles. So bring your hands in front of you, forehead resting lightly on the backs of your hands. I want you to turn your heels in slightly, which allows a little bit more room in the pelvis. And we're going to do single leg extension. So we're going to squeeze the right glute and lengthen the leg away. When it won't lengthen anymore, it will lift and lower. Other side, lift. Keep those abdominals on to support the lower back. And here we're looking for the length, not the height. And the sequence is glute, hamstring, lift. Glute, hamstring, lift. It's a pretty intense workout for those glutes and a small movement. Let's do three more either side. and last one either side and then let's turn on to our side 
So you need to create a pillow with your bottom arm, okay? Your top, your bottom, your legs are long. Bottom knee is bent, shin in line with the front of the mat. Your top hip is long, just push it away to make sure that you're not collapsing here in, in the waist. And we're just going to re reach the leg long. We're gonna circle forward for eight, seven, six. Just keep that shoulder nice and relaxed. Does get tense sometimes, keep it nice and relaxed. Keep the work focusing that glute and the hip. Two, one, and now reverse it for eight, seven. I'm a bit wobbly. So use those abs to stop you from wobbling. Four, three, two, one. Now flex the foot, toe down, heel up, and we're gonna lower and lift. So you should feel this up on the whole length of that leg into the glute. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Step in front with that top leg and then we're going to do inner thigh lifts for eight, seven, six, five, keep that leg long, four, three, two, one, now hold it up and pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And then I want you to push up into this position, which is a bit hard to describe. If you prefer to have your knees like this, you do that. Otherwise, just open the top one. We're gonna go into our side bend prep. So we're just gonna lift up and push that hip as high as you can to get a lovely stretch along the side. And down for two. Just two more. Three, and last one, four, and then let's spin around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so lining up, push that top hip away so we're not collapsing, shoulder is nice and relaxed, and circle forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, flex the foot, toe down, heel up, and lower, and lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, step in front, for lift, and lower. You're doing brilliantly. We're almost done. We just need to finish this series and do the side bend, and then you've completed day one. So last three, two, one. That pulls up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna end with our side bend on this side. So coming up and then down for two, three, and last one, four, and you are done. You've done day one of the Pilates Reset. I hope that's reminded you of how great Pilates makes you feel, how much strength you can feel that you're building, how much more open you feel. And I really hope you'll be back to join me here on the mat tomorrow when we're gonna be doing a workout for strong shoulders and a healthy back. So I'll see you tomorrow, bye.